Today I'll be talking about 10 games with pretty much awful, bad, or somewhat bad, no, mostly awful endings. Uh, we're going to start the list off with God of War 3. For all the hype of the final battle, watching Kratos die was actually really boring, nor did it even create any connection that is worth mentioning. I was more glad to see him die so we can finally get a better main character in the series, but then we got God of War Ascension, so fuck that up. Number 9 is Dragon Age 2's ending. It kinda sucked only because it was finally getting really good story-wise. I didn't hate it, but it definitely made me question why they left it off on the coolest part instead of like a duller part like Origins did. And basically you either choose either the, the magic side or the, the warrior side and then boom and then you kill one and then you kill both and then it just ends and you're like, what the, what the fuck? So that was definitely an ending that was kinda just strange and was questionable at all. It is in the Maker's hands now. We put our faith in him. <laughs> Fallout 3's ending felt like such a mess. I'm usually all for killing yourself because it's really cool and epic, but I felt no real scare doing it because it just ended so plain. I mean, basically, you can even send your warrior or friend in there to do it for you, and you don't even have to die, and then you get treated to a slideshow. And that's the end. And that really sucks. So yeah, that, that ending sucked, especially after that awesome final fight before it. That the Lone Wanderer learned the true meaning of that greatest of virtues. Sacrifice. Stepping into the irradiated control chamber of Project Purity, the child followed the example of the father, sacrificing life itself for the greater good. Bioshock 1's ending was pretty bad after a terrible final boss as well. The endings all felt tacked on instead of actually having a conclusion of sorts. It's too bad, since the rest of the game's story was somewhat decent, or at least great to some people. I thought it was decent, but anyway, the ending was definitely a big-ass letdown. You never said, but I think I know. A family. Next up is definitely Metal Gear Solid 2's ending. It was just like pure shit in my opinion. A bunch of real-time photos, gibberish dialogue, and a whole load of what the fuck last boss was that made the ending really, really, really stupid. I mean, really, really fucking stupid. I mean, the rest of the game was great, but that ending was just really, really, if I can't say it enough, really stupid. They taught me some good things, too. I know. We've inherited freedom from all those who fought for it. We all have the freedom to spread the word. Even me. Alan Wake was an ending that drove me through the roof. It tried to be like Stephen King title, but without any actual punch to it. When it ended, I was like, is this it? Is that it? Like, what the hell was that? What the fuck type of ending was that? It's it's like a dark void and is Alan dead and you're just like what the fuck happened? And it's not it's it's just not good. Not good ending. Final Fantasy X's ending. Um yeah, so this is one of the top most hated endings for me uh basically my rage was at a new level after i found out basically we, we kill this gigantic beast sin who is titus's papa and we're introduced to learning that titus is a fucking dream he's a goddamn dream i'm not even kidding he it wasn't the fact that he was dead or anything he was actually a dream and yeah so yuna fucked a dream so that's great
Number three, and this is one definitely one of my most hated. It, pff, Call of Duty Black Ops. I'll tell you why it's even here, because Call of Duty shouldn't even be on my list, but it is. And I'll tell you why. Because the ending straight off pissed me the fuck off. It was it was a freaking fight club ripoff in every sense of the word. I mean, there was no payoff at all, even. You know, with Fight Club, there's a payoff. And even if you thought the twist was stupid, the payoff was still good. This is just stupid. The main character is so dumb, and he, he contributes nothing. He's, well, he's just a blank person because he can't talk. But then the whole twist that you are, the other, that was just really, really bad. That's just really bad. I'm telling you, it's like one of the worst endings. Just, if you've seen Fight Club, don't even play Black Ops. There's really no point. Halo's 2 ending is pretty dreadful to me because I was expecting much more. Let's be honest, Halo 1's ending wasn't amazing, but it made me, you know, you want to want to get back into this universe. And Halo 3's felt satisfying enough, but Halo's 2 felt like, what the fuck? You, you know, I love middle games and middle movies because it's like, in the middle of the journey, something big's gonna happen. Nothing happened in Halo 2 really worth mentioning. And then it just ends with... We're going to go and fight the get on the other Halos. And I'm just like, what? It was just, it, it felt like one long side quest. Like it could have been called Halo 1.5, and then we just skip right to Halo 3. We've got a new contact, unknown classification. It isn't one of ours. Take it out. This is Spartan 117. Can anyone hear me? Over. Isolate that signal. Master Chief, do you mind telling me what you're doing on that ship? Sir, finishing this fight. There is no ending in big titles. You know, I can think of a lot of shitty titles, but Assassin's Creed 3 definitely takes one of the worst endings ever. I mean, the game was already going downhill the more I progressed, but it, this ending was just awful. You know, right before the ending, I was enjoying it. But, okay, let, let's do this way. First off, Connor's ending was just boring. Did anybody even give a shit about Connor at this point? He was just nothing. But then Desmond dies in the most stupid fucking way possible. They, they give you a choice, like they tell you either choose this or this, but this is a mass effect, so Desmond basically chooses the, the one that's gonna fucking kill him, and so you really don't get a choice, but they just explain 15 minutes of choosing, so that's stupid, and then he chooses to die by touching a big globe of energy, and he touches it and unleashes some all-powerful fucking creature and he dies, and then guess what happens? Nothing. Nothing happens. Because then this Ash Creed 4 came out, and the creature's not there or alive, and it's all fake, and everything's a game. And fuck it! The fucking stupid ending. Horrible. One of the worst ever. Big old shit. Okay, so now that I've listed games that I believe have horrible, terrible, dreadful, boring, sad, ugly endings. I want you guys to list your games that you think just have those endings that are just like, no, I could have wrote a better ending shitting on the toilet. You know, that's, that's what I want to see listed below. So list some really terrible endings and also list some top five ideas that I can throw out you guys next. And that's all. Everybody have a good day. Oh yeah, I'm getting an Xbox One, so expect reviews for that. Love you.